All right, Hemang, thanks a lot uh, for that. Uh, Hemang, just stay with us. You know, just a few minutes ago, we had some news flashing on the exchanges. And Max Finance, well, that's surging in trade as Axis Bank is going to go ahead and complete that transaction. Remember, they had 12% stake in their insurance arm. And now, in fact, they've got the go-ahead to go and get that 7% stake. Yashit, he has been on top of this. He gave you all a heads up as well a couple of months ago that this is likely to be the case with a revised valuation. Yash, fill us in. Nigel, as you rightly said, the context 12%, 12.99% stake was acquired at a price of about 35 rupees a share. Uh, Axis entities were yet to acquire the balance 7% stake and in between came the regulator saying that the pricing, the valuation is not uniform, is uh, it's not as per fair market value. In fact, both entities were even penalised. And now uh, on October 19th, we had reported that IRDA is not uh, likely to approve the transaction as per the current valuation and that's exactly what has happened. Axis Bank has come out and informed the exchanges that they've entered into a revised agreement with Max Financial Services on January 9th. Uh, now, as per this revised agreement, the balance 7% stake, uh, which is yet to be acquired, will be done at a fair market value. And the mechanism for acquiring that 7% stake would be as per the discounted cash flows mechanism. This is the change which Axis Bank has brought as far as the whole valuation game is concerned. And as far as the transaction now is concerned, it will be uh, beneficial for Max Financial for three important reasons. First one, of course, the deal, the, all the hurdles for this deal, uh, they go out and the deal can go through smoothly. The second one, Max Financial Services, which will be the seller in Max Life, uh, two Axis entities will get more money for its 7% stake when Axis Bank acquires that stake. And the third thing, uncertainty over Axis Bank's bank assurance uh, partnership with Max Life, that also goes away. So the OTC sales for Max Life also remain intact with Axis Bank coming in at about 20% stake uh, in the company. Okay, all right. Thanks a lot for that, Yash, and congratulations. You're stuck to your guns and, in fact, you know, you gave us a heads up on this. And as we speak, Max Finance, well, that's uh, flying away. It's outperforming a market that's rather looking a little bit weakish as we speak. But, Hemang, let's come across to you. You know, part of